Supplying thousands of deployed troops with food, water, and ammunition involves countless hours of preparation. This is where the 623rd Quartermaster Detachment from Fort Bragg, North Carolina comes in. The soldiers rig parachutes to packages of supplies so they can be airdropped to troops throughout the region. This process takes away from some of the dangers associated with other methods. Going by roads, you have to worry about IEDs, other threats of that nature on the ground. This way we can get it to them fast, we can get to them safe, and we can continue to resupply them without having to put people in danger by doing convoys, worrying about things such as IEDs or ambushes or anything of that nature. The riggers secure different parachutes to the package depending on the weight and type of cargo being dropped. We have two types of parachutes. You have a high velocity and a low velocity. A high velocity will fall faster than a lower velocity. There will be more energy dissipating material used in it. The commodity inside will have energy dissipating material in between the layers, especially on things such as water, and that prevents any damage to, to the load that's going out. Um, you know, if you have water and if you don't put it in there, you'll, you'll drop the water, but it'll be destroyed when it hits the ground. Through each day of hard work, the soldiers stay focused on the goal at hand. They don't get anything else from anybody else. They get what we rig. And if we fail a mission, they don't get to eat, they don't get to drink. They don't get nutrients and food and water, whatever, that they need to continue to fight their mission and support their mission. Uh, the soldiers here understand that it is mission first, and they work long hours, and they understand that what they're doing is supporting the warfighter on the ground. And that is the bottom line, what we're here to do, is provide product for the warfighter on the ground. Marine Corporal Kevin Maynard, Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan.